everything about this jacket just kind of screams designer to me. You can kind of kind of see what's going on underneath. Just really nice snuggly staple jumper that I can totally get on board with. There is short and there is short. So I'll probably watch this back while I'm editing and be like, oh, I actually really like that. So I think it's just one of those ugh, days. Kind of in between sizes, maybe size up. This dress has so much potential, but it's just not right. I don't really want to walk around flashing things through my holes. <laughs> Hello and thank you for clicking on today's video which is all about ASOS and some autumn wear. There's so much on like the high street and online at the moment you can get bombarded with things and ASOS and Topshop are pretty much my favourite places to shop. You probably know that if you follow me, if you don't please do click the subscribe button, notifications and like this video if you do enjoy watching it. But I was after a new outfit and I thought I'll just have a little browse of the new section and I saw quite a few things that I liked. These are all ASOS own because I do actually really like their ASOS design collection. I think it's a really good price for the quality and it's a little bit different than things you'll find kind of in River Island or New York or places on the high street. That being said, I have a huge bag. I will just show you it because when it arrived today, it's literally spilling out. <laughs> I picked it up for filming and it burst anyway and it's been delivered with masking tape all over it. So hopefully everything I ordered is in it, but if I didn't put it in the one big bag, I do not know. But let's kick straight into today's haul. I'm going to show you the pieces and I'll also be trying them on as well. So I'll give you first impressions, sizing, everything you need to know and all the items will be linked in the description box. So let's get going with today's ASOS Autumn Haul. Going straight in with the big guns for an autumnal outfit. And I wanted to order a new coat. Oh, I love coats. I probably have too many. Outerwear is probably the biggest section in my wardrobe. So if anybody wants me to do um, any kind of like coat collection video, do let me know. But I am a sucker for a structured, oversized, classic shaped coat because I think they go with so many things. And I saw this one and I just love the fact it was a mixture of greys and neutrals, pretty much all the colours I wear in my wardrobe. I went for a size 10, um, so let's try this bad boy on. This is my type of coat. I love oversized coats. I know they're not everybody's cup of tea, but I just really do. I just think they look so chic, a lot more expensive. So I love the big pockets that are on the front here and also the kind of bat wing sleeves going on and we've got this huge lapel. Everything about this jacket just kind of screams designer to me and it is definitely something that I would reach for myself in my wardrobe. True form for autumn, I've ordered a few knitwear bits so let's delve in with those bits next because you can't go wrong with a little bit of knitwear in your wardrobe. Again, I've gone for classic colours, but one thing I don't have is this kind of cable knit style jumper. Um, I did recently have one in my next haul, actually, I'll leave linked, but it was really bulky on the shoulders and it kind of put me off. So I've been after one that will fit me nicely. This one I got in a size 10 and it's just a nice cream coloured, seems quite thick and chunky actually, and then we just have a little cut out hole detail at the back with a button. So let's see what we think. So this jumper is a bit of me for autumn. It's chunky, but it's not itchy, it's comfortable. I love the fact we have this kind of loose bat wing sleeve going on. But then we also have the little cutout detail at the back. Looks nice with denim jeans. It would look amazing with leather trousers. Just really nice snuggly staple jumper that I can totally get on board with. One of the things I was actually after when looking on ASOS was a dress, but an autumnal dress. So I have a jumper dress here, which you could also wear over skinny jeans and wears like a big oversized jumper as well. So they're quite versatile. Again, obviously in a neutral color. I picked this one up in a size 10 again, and I thought this would be nice paired with kind of like over the knee boots or just with a pair of trainers, again, in a lovely neutral color. So hopefully this doesn't come up too short. I didn't know whether to order an 8 or a 10 in this and I'm glad I got the 10 just for how it fits on the shoulders. So if you're kind of in between sizes, maybe size up. And maybe it has given me a little bit more length like this. I could, I could get away with wearing this. I think though I would pair it with kind of over the knee boots or I would actually wear it with skinny jeans. I love the colour of it and we've got these kind of puffy sleeves which I like and I don't like because I feel they kind of make me look broader but I do like a bit of puff sleeve detail. Hmm, so one to bear in mind. I do actually really love the colour of it. I just think it'd be really versatile. And again, one that I would probably wear 
lounging about at home as well. I said I love a jacket. I have another jacket, but this one is more of a shacket. So let's get it out. For me, there is something a little bit dirty about saying shacket. I don't know, it doesn't really sound right, does it? But I went for, again, a size 10, because uh, it looked quite oversized on the model, because I do normally size up in jackets, but I didn't in this. In a lovely brown colour, which is just so autumnal, and I've been loving neutrals at the moment. It's going to go with neutrals so well. Kind of a safari style jacket, but there's a lot of wrap around belt going on, so let's give this one a try. I'm glad I didn't upsize in this jacket, because as we can see, it's meant to be oversized. I've got my normal size. And it's pretty big already, fits on the shoulders, good length in the arms, although I do have long arms, so if your arms are a little bit short, it might kind of cover your hands, but I do love the colour of it, sorry, just looking in the mirror over there. But I thought I would try and tie it up on camera. So there is a rather large belt going on somewhere at the back here. So on the model, they've kind of wrapped it around a few times, and I don't know how annoying that will obviously get long term, because... You obviously can't walk around with this dangling down because it is so long. But on the model, I think it's cinched in the waist and brought the belt buckle around to the front, like so. Although I can pretty much only just fasten it on the first one like that. So you must only be meant to wrap it round kind of one and a, one and a half times. So that's once round to the front and pull it through because we've got a lot going on here don't we pull it through and maybe tie it on this one although i've put the belt buckle on inside out which isn't a good thing but i can't be bothered to go back and do it now pull that one through and then that obviously falls down quite a lot so i'd maybe not that it's a very complicated jacket um and i don't know i'm not having much luck with today's haul am i it is nice but again, something just doesn't feel quite right for it for me. I think I would just find the belt a little bit too annoying, but it does look really nice when it's on. So it's a bit of a catch-22 with that one, and it feels nice and comfortable, the lining that's in it. Mm hmm. Could be tempted. Might not be. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Next up, something I thought would look really nice, but... It depends how you're feeling about your body at the time, like when you're bloated and feeling a bit uncomfortable all the time of the month. I don't really like wearing stuff like this because I just feel like it clings to your body, but this would could be worn out. I would literally probably just wear this at home to work in. Because I work at home a lot, I don't like just kind of sitting around in the slobs. I like to have comfy clothes that also look good if I've got to answer the door and things like that. So the postman don't wonder why he's done your dressing gown and it's two in the afternoon. <laughs> but I picked up a size eight in this one and it is a very, very long rib knit button down, all the way down dress. Um, so you can probably wear this open as like a little cardigan as well with a cami top and some denim jeans. But yeah, I just wanted to try it and see, see what it feels like on. Maybe I did the sizing completely wrong on this dress because We've literally got pulls on each of the buttons, so you can kind of kind of see what's going on underneath. So size up in this dress, I would probably say, um, and it is a little bit on the itchy side, but it is a very figure flattering silhouette. You maybe just need to get the sizing right because I don't really want to walk around flashing things through my holes. While in an evening, I like to wear like a knee boot with a short skirt and a big oversized blazer in autumn. So I saw this and I thought, hmm, I've got a pair of blue over the knee shoot bags and boots I thought it would go with. So this is a size 8 and it is kind of like a little schoolgirl kilt in a lovely blue and green colour. There is short and there is short and this is too short for me so again if you're you know five foot eight or taller like myself this might be a little bit short for you. Also I would say size up this is eight and literally I'm like mm -hmm. To get into it so size up in this skirt bear the length in mind but this is like totally the type of skirt i was after so i'm a little bit gutted that it's too short just kind of being the short reminds me of playing netball at school because we used to wear these but in maroon but i do absolutely love it and it's got the cute belt as well so if you are not if you are shorter then this will probably be a perfect length on you but for me it's just a little bit too bum skimming at my age <laughs> I literally don't think I realised how many things I ordered. Went a little bit crazy online on ASOS. Ooh, ooh. What is this? I was not expecting 
this to be like that. So I don't think this is a keeper. You can't even tell when I'm showing you like this. But this is a sweater dress. And it just feels like a thickish t-shirt. It's not really what I was expecting, but still try it on anyway. I like it now I've got it on, but there's just something about it that makes it feel a little bit cheap. It's not like the best fitting, although it actually is really comfortable. It just doesn't look great on me. I don't know what you guys think. And again, I think this is going to be a reoccurring issue throughout this haul that things are just a little bit on the short side. And I don't think they did any of these in a tall range. So this is maybe a no as well. Or I think I'm just, because I'm not feeling great, I'm having one of those just meh days when you try stuff on and you don't like it. So I'll probably watch this back while I'm editing and be like, oh, I actually really like that. So I think it's just one of those ugh, days. Now, this isn't typically a me type jumper, and you can probably tell from when I'm showing it on the screen, but I've seen quite a lot of people in tie-dye at the moment over on Instagram, and I saw this on the ASOS model. I thought it looked so cool. I thought I could pair that with you know, my Air Force One and a pair of trainers, and this is a size 10. It feels quite big, but it does have a really horrible, <laughs> a really horrible fusty smell with that, and I'm not sure why. <laughs> it literally smells like, I don't know if anybody does a little bit of thrift shopping and things like that, when you get sometimes some secondhand clothing that smells a little bit fusty, that is literally what that smells like. <laughs> I've managed to put up with the smell of this jumper, apart from that fuss that's going on, I actually really like it. It feels really nice and soft and comfortable, I love this neck detailing we've got going on up here. I mean, it's a little bit of an out there print for me, uh, but I kind of like it, so maybe, maybe. So this is a belted dress. The belt is just in the bag bit, and it's that kind of cut out, I want to say, a bit like a broderie on glace. I don't know how you say that. I've tried to pronounce that before, and somebody has gone a little bit wild in the comments, but so sorry if I'm not pronouncing it properly, but something like this, I thought would be really cute. My Doc Martin boots, or again, a pair of over knee boots, although, Mm, maybe it is a little bit see-through, but we shall try that on, and I got that in a UK size 8 as well. This dress has so much potential, but it's just not right. I'm 5 foot 8, I'm just on my tiptoes, and look how short this is. It literally just bum skims. Ignore that at the back is what the belt was in, I had to keep it in. The belt does feel quite cheap quality, unfortunately, and there's just something about it that just is just lacking for me personally, size-wise. True to size on the fit, um, obviously apart from the length. So if you're taller like me and you don't particularly want your bum on show, then this dress probably isn't for you, but it does look really cute. It would look amazing with western boots or over the knee boots. I'm just a little bit disappointed in the overall vibe of this one for me because I can't wear it because it's just too short. And then, last but not least, I just got some Nike socks because I recently got some Nike Air Force One. That video should be live before this one, but if it's not, it will be the next video coming up all about styling my Air Force Ones. And I probably could have done with these socks for that video, but never mind. I also have seen loads of people on Instagram pairing these socks with Adelancy on the Triple S. It looks pretty cool, so pick myself up some socks. So that is everything that I have from ASOS to share with you today. Like I said, it's from the new in section, all ASOS design. Went a little bit crazy. I'm obviously not going to keep all of it. I was just after a new autumnal outfit for an event I have coming up, which could actually even have been shared on my feed by now. So if you go follow me at Shell Butchuk on Instagram, you'll be able to see which outfit I kept from this little haul. But do comment below with your favorite piece. Everything will be linked also. And yeah, if you're new, I would love if you did subscribe. I'm creating a lot more video content these days. So also, if there's anything that you'd like to see from me, just let me know. And I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye guys.